Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Uh, today, we will discuss about another error that we receive when we try to assign the output type EDI medium, 6RA medium. Okay, we see here. So, we are assigning an output type to the invoice or order. So, in this example, we are assigning to invoice. So, ZWG01. So, ZWG01 has been assigned, the invoice has been saved, but the output has been failed. The reason is that EDA pattern profile not available. Now, let's see how to avoid this error and how to make this output should be successful. Okay, so we need to, so whenever we receive this error, that means there might be some partner profile has been missing in W20 transaction code. W20 is to maintain partner profile. Okay, let me open the invoice. You can see here. If I select this failed output and click on processing log, I see the reason stating that partner profile not available. So now we need to maintain the partner profile in WE20 T code. Let me log in, let me open WE20 transaction code. Remember, this is an important T code in case of an IDAC processing, either incoming IDAC or out, outgoing or outbound IDAC. Okay, so here we have different type of partners are there. Partner type B, bank, BP for benefit, benefit provider, GP business partner, KE for customer, LI for vendor, LS for logical system, US for user. But how should we make sure that this JWG01 should be triggered for which kind of partner type. If it is an old output type, then that output already has been triggered with successful IDAC. If you see this invoice as well, two times JWG01 has been assigned. When you try to assign it on third time, it failed. That means the first two times when it was triggered, the time system identified partner profile. Later, someone removed or changed the partner profile. And how to understand under which partner type that we are going to define the partner profile? Okay, let's select this one, the successful uh, JW, JW01 output type, and click on processing log, and you see the not this one, let me select the first one, processing log, you see the IDAC number here, okay, okay, copy the IDAC number, go to the one more transaction code WE02, okay, so WE02 is transaction code, Two zero two. See the list of output types. These are all IDAX. Inbound and outbound, both. So let's give the IDAC number here. Remove the date and execute. You see, so this is the IDAC number, and here we see that the basic type, the nature of that uh, IDAC. What is the basic type? What is the message type? What is the partner number? Right? And partner type, port, everything we see here. If I double click on the control record here, and uh, if I go to the partner, you see here the sender information. This is sender information. Sender is here is 10,000 partner number. This is the port number. This is the partner type. And this is the receiver information. The receiver here is 
part number is 22000 part number type is ku so the vendor sending the data to the customer here right okay now let's go to we 20 so we need to configure the sender information in the we 20 transaction code okay the part number here is 10000 the band partner type is li okay go to w20 transaction code and select that uh, partner type as li and if you scroll down here you don't see 10000 partner here you we see 9999 then 10099 we don't see 10000 here that means that is missing here so we need to add that partner information in w20 under li partner type so how to add that it's very simple just click on this uh, create icon create and partner number is this is the partner number add the partner number partner type is uh, li okay and uh, this is that user type mention as user select this one and click on okay and the agent is fine language is fine and give enter okay it, this is not exist okay remove this let me give something else the agent here let me execute select any agent here it is loading okay let me select the second one yeah enter yeah now if you see here this adac is an incoming adac the direction is 2 is inbox inbox means incoming adac right so and here the partner profile has two areas one outbound parameters another is inbound parameters as it is incoming adac to direction so we should add an entry here only okay let me save it yeah yeah so now i am in the partner 10000 and you see in the under the inbound parameters you see the one icon plus create parameters right click on this plus symbol hmm. okay now the message type so what is the message type in the adac here invite i n v o i c okay and message code is uh f5 and process code is invl right okay so here you see two options here how the adac should be processed whether it should be processed immediately or it should be processed through background program as i discussed in my previous uh, sessions if it is a trigger immediately a radio button has been enabled then when we save the invoice adac will be triggered and processed successfully or failed so it will process successfully that's the reason here okay either it will be failed or it will be successful successful means the message number should be 53 failed means it should be 51 okay so trigger immediately means it will process the idac trigger by background program so when we select this radio button trigger by background program then what will happen is that this idac will go and sit in 64 status let me show you the 64 status the reason here 64 means idac ready to be transferred to application that means 64 status idac will be processed through batch job only the batch job here is that rbda pp01 so this is that uh, program which will be scheduled as a background job this program will pick all the idac idacs which are in 64 status then it will try to process them so this is the nature of this program rbda pp01 program to 
Process sixty four inbound IDAX to RBDA PP zero. So remember this important program. Okay, so um, yeah, so we need to mention process code here and go to that uh, post processing um, agent again. Mention the type as US. Language should be ENRD something and save this. Now let me try to assign the output type again. Okay, let me select this one, repeat, save it. Okay, we are getting the update termination error. It's okay, click on okay. Go inside output. Okay. Again, it is um, failed. Uh, okay, this is the latest one, I think. Okay, again, it is failed. That means it is looking for some other entry. Okay. The second entry will be one second. Okay, it should be MB. Okay, let me click on. Okay, select this one. So I'm going to add one more entry here. Uh, this time it should be MM. Click on copy. Everything is fine. This is uh, MM. Processing. Save it. Data was saved. And we see here two entries are there one for FI, one for MM. And uh, hmm. if I go inside this, Okay, invite NVL. This code is uh, MM. Okay, fine. Let me go back. W20. What are the CLI? Okay, let me go inside. Just save it. Okay, let me try to repeat it one more time. Repeat. Save. Enter. Okay. Hmm. You see, now it has been successfully triggered. The time is 20 to 23, 13, 44. It's a GMT time. System status 13, 44, 28. It's triggered on 13, 44.06. So this is how we should maintain the partner profile to avoid the error partner profile not available so you might ask me a question why we have maintained two profiles here so in the 10,000 uh, uh, partner I have maintained two entry here with different message variant that is FI and MM okay I would like to clarify here one thing here is that this JW01 is an output type to do the posting incoming receipt post okay we know that, right? So, in case of intercompany invoice, we need to do the invoice receipt posting, right? To do the invoice receipt posting, we are triggering RD04 output type. Okay. Standard output type to uh, do incoming receipt posting. To do uh, AP posting, in other words, you can say that AP means accounts payable or uh, invoice receipt posting. Coming invoice receipt or Miro. Okay, so this posting should be done, right? So, intercompany invoice can be created in two scenarios. In one scenario, standard flow, standard flow in the sense order, delivery, and invoice. Then, IB intercompany billing will be created. In another scenario, 
that is stevo scenario stock transfer intercompany scenario right in this scenario order po sometimes there won't be any order at all po should be there directly yeah, po or order and is a stevo intercompany will be created right so in case of order outbound delivery and f2 invoice in this scenario the rd04 will be triggered with a major variant as f5 say ap posting okay and in case of intercompany stvo scenarios mm posting will happen i think that's myro posting okay so that's why we should maintain two variants here one for f5 posting one for mm posting Mm, you see here the flow, the document flow saying that purchase order, a cross company delivery, and it's an intercompany invoice. So in this flow, we need to do the Miro posting. To do the Miro posting, we need to assign the RD04 output type or the custom output type that we have developed JW01. That's why when we add that first time FI. Entry here and then we will re-trigger the output type, it's failed. But after adding this MM variant, it's successfully triggered. Right? So in case of this document flow, in case of STO intercompany scenarios, in case of inter so this stevo the company invoice mm posting should take place and the variant here is that mm variant in case of order delivery and uh, F2 invoice and intercompany invoice. In that case, we need to do the FI posting, that is AP posting. Accounts payable, okay. I hope uh, this uh, video will be very helpful to resolve this issue whenever you receive your project or in your company. Like my videos, please do subscribe. Share it with your friends. Thank you, everyone. We'll meet in the next video.